Hey guys, Patrick Riddle here with MustKnowInvesting.com and I have a question from one of our readers, uh, actually several questions that I'm going to answer today and uh, I'm coming at you live from one of my uh, favorite little coffee shops in town. So let's dive right in. Um, first question he had was how can I choose a name for my business? Uh, good question. And one tip would be if you can choose a name that tells anyone exactly what you do, uh, that would be most beneficial. So if you were to name your, if, if you were a house buying business and you were to name yourself um, We Buy SC Houses if you're in South Carolina or something along those lines, um, that could be beneficial. Also, uh, if you can find a, a website, a domain name that's available that you can make your domain name the name of your business. So um, if we buy charlestonhomes.com was available, then then maybe I, I would at this point in time make that my company name. Because then you do two things. You tell people your company name and you also direct them to your website. So there's some ideas there. Uh, how can I select the best deals was question number two. So um, you want to have a consistent marketing plan in place. Several methods to get sellers calling you on the phone. Um, you don't want to go the traditional route working with realtors and listed property. That's going to lead to a lot of frustration with getting, getting started. So um, check out my blog, mustknowknow.com, must know and just look in the marketing category. You'll get some ideas. Uh, how can I stay out of legal trouble? Good question. Um, you know, you'll want to have some kind of business entity that you do business in. Um, I chose to, to form an LLC, but uh, probably the best thing to do is just to get with a, a local attorney in your area and just consult with um, a professional there to ask them what they think based on your goals and uh, how you plan on going about things. Uh, what's the best advice for a beginner? Um, I would say uh, on, on the blog right now, I have a video entitled Why Most Beginners Will Never Make Money in Real Estate Investing. And I, I go through step by step um, how I got started the wrong way, uh, how I was able to turn things around, and kind of the missing link that's in all the other real estate investing courses out there. So go to the blog. It's free. It's a 60-minute in-depth tutorial. Sign up for that. Uh, that's going to help you out. Uh, is it good to be with more than one website? He lists a couple um, that he goes to regularly. Is it good to be a master at all trades or an expert at one? Um, I would recommend, based on your financial circumstances, based on your goals, to determine one strategy that you want to implement first. Become a master at that, and then look to add on additional methods to it. So if you need quick cash, wholesaling is probably going to be your best bet. So research and, and educate yourself on those strategies. Learn it. Do it. Become excellent at it. Then look to add on additional strategies. So um, thank you, Vincent. Uh, that was Vincent Davenport that had those questions for us today. Keep them coming. Go to, go to the website. There's tons of resources, articles, free stuff there for you. Patrick Riddle here. MustKnowInvesting.com. We'll see you next time.